Go on, on find that clip again of the action slacks puking out the balloon. What was that cat? Yep, Tim's on the Earthshaker. I'm not so seeing him play on a hero like Earthshaker, but it's not exactly good for the ganking potential. But coming in to ruin the momentum of and turn around for ganks. Died. Used to seeing him play on the super big heroes, the flashy heroes, the Monkey King, the Earth Spirit, the Jarex kind of heroes. Begins. Oh, Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, game one, and once again, you know, if you guys missed it, Cap Pride, if you think Mighty is gonna win, hello, if you think TNC is gonna win, let me know where you guys are from as well while you're at it. So, from all the way from Sing, this guy will be the highlight. There we go, our fake. Courier. I mean, it shouldn't be fair that if you're not detectable on the minimap, you shouldn't be able to block creeps, would it? But yeah, this would be a really rough lane for Sam H. They get the slow Dream of Cell. If he gets into the phase boost, that could be a very, very easy kill. Once again, you're going to see that 2v2 matchup. No surprise there. In your dream, needs to get the edge onto Cuckoo before Cuckoo gets those levels up, and then he gets ridiculously tanky. Kuku, he plays Queen of Pain a lot, so he should know the limitations of trying to zone this hero out. Port on out, but at least draft wise, I would say Sandy Luca is having a pretty decent start. And once he gets that level 2 Ion Shell, it's going to be very annoying, even for the Necrophos. His Death Pulse will not be able to push out the wave as like, which means he takes more damage than he is actually giving out. Chess cute can't really zone out Sam H because of the return. Without you as well, no PMS, but still, he does take quite a fair bit of damage back in return. Man, middle lane, Tim's just making sure that In Your Dream is having a really, really hard time. Already forced to pop the self. Send the run off the 1437. Parties and Thane will just push itself out. Seven very quick to go and steal that bounty rune. Yes. Of a race. Cancel the clarity. Yep, there we go. So Sandy Lucas is not going to be too happy about that. Forced to pop up another clarity already as it is. Which isn't exactly the best start. You know, you're wasting the precious fee gold and if you don't get your soaring by the time the clarity is over, your lane is just going to be so Once again, Tim's back into the party. Catches in your dream on the wrong side of the fissure. But, you know, gonna go straight with the Shadow Strike, blinking all the way to the west. But Joe can, uh, not enough damage on his part. So, both sides just trying to burn each other's region out. You know, burn away the consumables, make the lane a bit easier, trying to dominance. Tim's having, like uh, Cuckoo, having quite a decent time against in your dream. CS is 15 and 4 in your dream. Not having two shabby CS as well, 10 to 1. Monkey key lane, you know, lane still isn't yielding any kills yet. Do not like to believe, but in your dream, oh, falling really low, really close. And over the back line, 1 4 3 7 with the snipe. Alright, so first blood going to him, and that's gonna be his boots. Get up the courier as well, which has already been done. Like I said, if the level 2 iron shell, this lane is just gonna keep putting itself in. This sh should be a static lane, and all the emphasis should be. Place back into this middle lane where Joe Cam, very hard for him to even try to gank, especially against a tanky hero like Viper. He can't get the top as well. What? Sam H. Bit behind the dark. So, come close. I'll take those Jingu Mastery stacks. Hard to gank, but let I me mean, considering one for three seven to get the first blood earlier on. That's still big. What's the queen of in and the top rune with a double damage for Cuckoo? Can make anything 
work with the double damage. So I'd maybe Fisher could have enough damage to kill this Queen of Pain. Going for the level 2 Kurosu skin, so every Shadow Strike is actually more damage than he's actually dishing out. I was somewhat looking for Pain who is rotation, I think. Top lane, they do get the Sam H kill diving under the tower for it. Sorry, I was looking at the Queen of Pain. Fisher. Now he's just waiting on the high ground, and just like that, he's already losing in terms of EXP to Viper. Viper's a board here, but it does win you a lane. He's to a certain extent a good frontliner, it's just a hit. Lockdown as well on his end. Now they're having a really good time in this middle. Get those poison stacks piling up. Curse of the silence, let's see if you can get any damage on the cool. But he once again, you know, Cat's cute, he gets very because of the cursed skin. Top lane, they are thinking about going here onto Sam H. The bar strike oh, the Fisher is gonna be there. Bar strike on two. We'll see if they can do anything with this. Maybe it's going to Joe Cam. You don't want to pile those Jingu Mastery stacks up. It is a level 3 Jingu, so the damage you return combined with the Boundless Strike is actually super super strong. Oh nice Fisher, he will freeze, caught by the stomp, and down goes Dream of Cell. I'll take your tribute. Darkseus bought a lot of regen actually. You know, compared to Necrophos, 40 and 14. For a Reaper Scythe, but okay, it seems like Dendi Lucas knows the limitations of his hero, doesn't want to get too close. Necrophos did kind of. So I guess he kind of figured it out. Who did the find his first item onto Raven? This guy wants to tank, and I'm pretty sure he knows as well. Majority of the DPS is magic. The only physical damage comes from King, and he's not that farmed. And once again, for the combo into Dream of Cell, another kill for Sam H. Here. Burst strike coming in, they want to try and go for the return around kill. And okay, 1 for 3 7, getting a kill to Joe Cam. Sam H, double edge. Will die to in your dream, but. They didn't want to turn around, but okay, hold on. Kes cute, should be able to kill 1 for 3 7. Sonic wave, and there they go. 1 for 3 7 goes down, TP out. Tims and. Bottom lane still pretty, pretty even. Has to be careful though, Sandy Lucas, in case he's caught by Raven. But now the TP comes. Let's see if they can go for the kill here. They want to try. Burrow maybe Iron Shell. There we go. They have a vacuum. Yes, they do. But I'm not sure they have enough damage. The Ghost Shroud's going to be there. But the heals. Actually, no. Taking extra damage from the double Iron Shells coming up. Beside, will it be enough damage? No, it will not. So Joe Cam and Sandy Luca is getting a very nice kill into Raven. Big, big kill. Close, but not quite. Viper almost level 8. Queen of Pain, you know, did use that Sonic Wave earlier on, so it's on cooldown. They definitely do not have enough damage to kill Viper. Now going, all right, deep in the slow. Who? Silent, but they use the Stampede, so they just disengage. Very nice usage. Stampede doesn't exactly have the long. Down. It's just a minute. Still, it's only just phase boots on Dream Hotel, you know. Primal Leap. Slow isn't going to be that useful going up against the Viper as well. But at the bottom, Joe Cam actually falls quite low. 1 for 3 for 7, has a sentry, doesn't want to use that. Quite some. Use the scan, they know that there are heroes there. So they're just going to bait once again with Raven. But how do they initiate onto this Necrophos? They can't, he's just way too tanky. And they want to turn around Love Shaker. You're just asking for trouble. The Viper coming in as well, Cuckoo. Does find it in your dream. So the TPR, do they have a Fisher? To cancel his TPR, no, they do not. But okay, they do find Kes cute. Find Cindy Lucas. Sure. Dream of what? You were only champion 
Okay, I confess I'm missing quite a number of kills, so I do apologize. I'm pulling a weapon, not intentionally. I just wasn't expecting the centaur actually gets killed by, you know, very unusual kill. So, still haven't seen a successful Reaper Scythe kill just yet. Necrophos is kind of lagging behind, lagging behind him, so then, well, you know, he's not doing too well. Darkseer is okay. Okay, he, he will catch up. But because of the nature of the heroes, that's why, you know, no one's really good to fight just yet. You don't want to take the risk. It can go at any point. Look at that damage. On you really want to be careful. Could look to try and rotate. They have the sonic wave. Bottom lane, you can tell they want to try again onto the necro. Kill the necro. That's the DNC. They need to snowball off this. Dragon land still being not yet done. Again, they know that the necro is there. Should suspect what's going on. Sandy Lucas, he hasn't spot he's only spotted the necro. Double iron shell. Damage, damage, damage. Can't even shadow strike the Viper because it's level 4 corrode skin. See what they want to here is still 5 to 5. Gold leader slightly favor Boom ID. These guys are actually doing really well. They beat TNC here. Mineski will obviously have to pay more attention to play. Or she should at least know how in your dream plays because they were teammates for a brief period on Fnatic. Still quite a distance. That pink dagger on his part. He's not gonna be, you know, he's not gonna be getting that anytime soon. Really, really far behind. Like if you look at the net, at least it's not that top heavy compared to Boom Appetite, where the supports have been going. Radiance top tower is back. Dark Seer wants to try wave. He may actually end up getting caught out. Fisher, Ice Blast, Sandy Lucas is dead. Reaper Scythe kill for Raven, and he's gonna get all of that regen back up. He can push out the wave again, and that's a kill desperately needed. Cindy Lucas getting a bit too cocky over there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Five. Now things are starting to favor TNT a bit, but nothing is. Stone just yet, and in your dream, Veil vale means he wants to fight with his team. It's a great early game item, the extra damage could synergize very well with the blink heroes. Radiant's top tower has been denied. Oh, going into his own hood of, hood of defiance as well, it's gonna help with the ice blast. Scythe a bit and build into a death. No Echo Saber on his part. And yeah, Monkey King doesn't really farm very fast. He expected to be farming heroes. They do. They want to go. That wasn't in range of the ward, so they could just. Bottom mid team. Find that pesky ne Diving behind back of the tower. Alright, going in with the bar strike and the epicenter looks like they will go into the necrophos. Global silence is gonna be there as well, so he will not be able to go shroud out of this pop spell shield. Oh the heal from the ghost shroud! He's actually gonna be alive, popping the stampede, he actually looks like he might even get out. Echo slam at the back line, and actually ooh, they find Joe Cam. DNC with the turnaround. Sandy Lucas. They are looking for some kills here on to do Tim's. Chant totem. Cause oh nice boundless strike from Dreamer Cell. Over the back, one for three seven, going for the TP out. Oh no, the iron shell damage will prove to be way too much. As Saint De Lucas finds himself another kill as well, and that's going to be a two for two trade. Port's dying, but still pretty worth it. And Necrophos got a got out. That's the that's the big thing, and he's going for Veil next. 
gonna synergize really really well with his team, especially with the Ice Blast and their dive. Laying out a Viper Strike, you know, Across the tier 1 tower. Raven getting that tower. In that case, it's better your teammate tower compared to the tower being denied. Very, very... Money can be... Sam H is really close to a Blink Dagger this game. Wow, he's... Pressing, I'm not gonna lie. He had like, what, 200 gold and now he's up to 2000. He's been free farming that lane. They are looking for Dreamer Cell. They know he's hanging around, but they just can't find him. We'll get the tower deny as well. So that's pretty big. You know, some gold not going to the dire economy. The supports will be crying for that, saying that, hey, we supports. Dancer will end up going for the trip first. Let's see. Blink Dagger's still on the way. So your silencer basically buys all the wards this game. Dyer's top tower. He's not on top of things. And smoke, they have a global silence up in t Buku as well going to a Start to see a lot more of these kind of vipers actually, I just realized. Even in the previous series where Execration went for something similar. Fight, hiding behind them to put a ward down but they won't find anyone because it looks like TNC just completely elsewhere the middle lane Kuku is still farming he, he gonna complete the maelstrom pretty soon thought he would have wanted to go into Midas we start to see more vipers actually go for the Midas just so they can get a bit better but defender Tim's out even popping the stampede the balance strike is going to be there with the primal leap he should die yep he will die one for three seven actually nice cold feet proc they find dream of cell Oh, the Global Silence, perfect timing coming up from Boom ID, and they're going into the back line. Sonic Wave will polish him off, looking for the stomp, but where's the follow-up, the vacuum back? Sam Hedge going for the double edge, he's going to deny himself. Ah, he's going to fail, and then in your dream gets a double kill, and three heroes go down. Using only the Global Silence and the Sonic Wave, so very, very worth it. Top lane, Necrophos still not able to join. Mids, neither can the Viper. Radiance bottom My. tower has uninvited guests. Radiant's bottom tower is now a pile of dust. Illusion. Okay, so Boom ID have a very, very narrow lead. Teskid has been very, very on point so far with, you know, the global silences. Take a look at the network graph. Yeah, see, it's barely over 500. Look at the itemization. Lots of defensive items coming up. It's all about. Destroyed. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. You just want to make sure you outlive the enemy. But okay, using that ultimate. Radiance Bottom Tower has a nasty weird. situation. Almost killing off the Earthshaker, actually. It's a pretty good attempt. Deso is actually a really big item if Dreamer Cell can get. Radiance Middle Tower is not safe. Right, so Raven, Blink Dagger on the way. I kind of would have expected like an Atos, for example, just so that it will kind of help him catch that Queen of Pain. They don't have a lot of stuns. They can chain it right into the Reaper side. That's pretty big. Now. Drone comes in, sanking, it has a blink barrel. Oh, they're going to initiate it onto the silencer. Can they get a kill here? Yes, they can. But the vac into the barrel strike. Ice blast. Joe Cam going to take a couple of hits and he will die to the Sam Hinge double edge. So they do get the D ward as well. Raven's still alive, has the death pulse, has the Reaper Scythe. Perhaps they can think about going back in. They probably want to reinitiate here. Very, very risky. Sam Hinge lurking around. Sam Hinge, oh, getting stomped. That search is gonna be wasted. They have the Reaper Scythe. Down goes Saint de Lucas. Three heroes for absolutely nothing. And they lose to tier 2 as well. Great stuff from TNT, and they're looking very solid. In your dream, trying to build into a Yule Scepter. Yes. This Necrophos is just fat, fat, fat. Climbing the network, so is the Viper as well. The Maelstrom helps him to push out the waves a bit quicker. In your dreams, hit straight to the bottom lane so that you can get some push, some pressure out at least. Alright, so 11.
10, 19 minutes in, game is looking still very, very even. I, I wouldn't even say that TNC have the advantage purely because Boom ID they have. So it could but hey, what do I know? I mean, at this level of Dota right now, it's so intense. Like, hey, are they gonna find the Queen of Pain? Yes, they will. Into the Ice Blast, double edge, and down goes Queen of Pain. Could have been enough to shatter? Probably is gonna yield himself up, but they're going to Sandy Lucas with a double Z as well. Sandy Lucas is dead. Queen of Pain, Yield Scepter to actually dislodge dislodge some of that damage, so. Still not dead. I believe that was only a level 1 Ice Blast anyway. Oh, yeah, he wasn't really gonna die there unless they had a bit more damage. Now the tier 1 tower. It went for the attack range, right? Hello? Oh, if the Dragon Lance is actually out of range of tower? Yeah, I didn't really know that. I don't play too much, but... Bounty. Bounty rune as well. I mean, I don't even know what you do right now if you're T and perhaps trip. It's not about forcing the towers too early because you don't want to mess around Darkseer who's going to start building into a blink dagger, perhaps even a pipe. Done. Ice Blast. One more hit. Won't you? Oh, blinks. But it's okay. Follow up. Doesn't even matter. Over the bottom lane. Boundless Strike. Who does it connect? Onto the Viper and into the Barrel Strike as well. Thinking about catching two. But the Cuckoo is alone. And now nah, I'm just kidding. Here's Raven. They have a Death Pulse. Trying to bait. Oop, okay, looking for the Sand King. Yeah, I'm juking all the way into the eating the trees. But now the Global Silence comes out. In your dream, he still has a Sonic Wave and looks like the Necroforce will end up going down here. They have found the Earth Shaker. TP out, now Stampede. But no, the Yule Scepter, very nicely done. And perhaps they could even catch Sam H. Shadow Strike, the dead horse many vibes ever seen. Wow, indeed, Boom ID. They're the ones to actually start to negate and assert dominance against Boom ID. So scary. Well, Monkey, Deso, almost done in 250 gold. Right, so, oh. Yeah, this game is so 14 to 12, 22 minutes in. You can see the gold lead just continues to switch back and forth, back and forth. Up and down, up and down. Like my MMR. Four staff on the way for Tim's, waiting for some big plays, but so far he hasn't had the opportunity to. Boom ID has been very diligent and very vigilant with making sure that they don't get caught out. Especially to the Echo Slam. You don't want to, the last thing you want to do is get Echo and Ice Blasted together. Time. So what can I say? I mean, how are you guys doing? We'll try for a smoke place with TNC. Um, boom, they're just waiting in the top lane, but it looks like they will find the silencer. Probably will find the silencer. They? Oh, force the Hurricane Pike up, and they will find Kes cute. This Kes dead. Reaper Scythe won't even need to use it as Raven will get himself the Death Pulse kill. Want to fight into the top lane, they have the Ice Blast. Oh, Centaur gonna pop the Stampede. Yule Scepter up into the air, Ice Blast is going to miss, they have the Echo, Raven trying to get the slow up, nice Fisher onto one, now the Echo making sure the Queen of Pain goes down first to the Reaper side, they will get the kill, by fighting into the Wukong's command, Dreamer side going down, big epicenter onto three! Alright, so they do get the stun into the Sand King, one for three, seven is here with Kofi proc as well, Jokam has no way to escape and he actually will end up going down, two for three trade, Dark is still pushing out the middle lane. He's just trying to build into a pipe. No blink dagger this game. 
pretty big. I mean, they have a decent ward up on the cliff near the secret shop. So they do have some, you know, some sort of vision. Dogs here just needs to farm for a couple minutes, you know, I'll get the pipe complete so they can stick together. Might even just complete the greaves. Pipe is actually a really big item here, especially into the Ice Blast, it's great against the Reaper's Scythe. I believe it does stack with your own spell shield. That's actually... Asking me to play more Viper, that's a, that's a tough call man, I mean, would you play Viper? Would you play 20 games of Viper? Talents for this hero make it quite legit. I'm not sure about the poison attack. Buildings, but the 75 attack range is pretty good. Pike and Maelstrom already completed. Looking to see what Tim's next. I mean, perhaps that's why he. I, we haven't seen that many echoes from him. Because he's been using the chain stun particularly down like the cleanup. That's just space created. Very, very. My bottom lane still getting pushed in by the darks here, dude. They're basically just playing the lanes right now from both sides. You don't really know what each to do, but we can kind of speculate. So let's just say finish it, up, finish the item, smoke, try and outplay each other on the road. A bit. Vipers there just. I'll take your tribute. Yeah, they won this last tier too. Radiant have an arc is not safe. Now still being used just yet, but 16 17 he kills for four minutes now. Alright, so now after the death completed, do they want Yeah, both sides are just happy to just keep on farming. Like, you look at Boom ID side, the net worth is slowly starting to trickle in favor of TNT. They have the 2000 net worth advantage. Power's kill score is actually pretty even. Both sides still have one out of tower remaining. Radiant's top tower needs bandages. Uh, still trying to push out that bottom lane. He wants to make sure that the bottom is constantly Radiant's in pressure so that TNT's movements actually kind of restricted. So this is where you play the creepy creep. Very, very carefully. Make sure that when you have two side lanes pushed in, they have to defend. You force them to split up. That's where you try to take a fight into the global silence, making sure that no one gets out. Necrophose actually is going to guide him, which will save him in the next time if he completes it, which will be the BKB. So they're coming in, they want to kill Raven. Can they do it? Looking for the Wukong's command, the Global Silence will be there, and boom, Raven gets blown up. The good combo in your dream, gonna try and complete an Orc of Benevolence. Even scout Roshan, so they know that Roshan's up. Double damage as well, but not everyone's coming back in TNT. Do they want to try and contest this Roshan? And yes, they blow up Joe Cam immediately. Double damage or not. Cell doesn't have damage. Oh, looking for the Boundless Strike. And actually, oh, nice Boundless Strike into the Sonic Wave in your dream with the double. Boom ID looking very, very strong. And Cuckoo will find one kill. Cuckoo against the world. Cuckoo trying to kill Keskew, the 4 staff forward, and actually he will get to kill the mech. It's going to be the Echo Slam. Oh, in your dream with the Jukes once more. TP out from... Teams, yes, the use scepter. Oh no, why didn't he use? Hello? Did he forget to use his use? I'm not sure, but that fight was very, very close. 
even safe enough to say that it was probably even if not for the fact that the Earthshaker bought back. What surge is this? Worthy tribute. Okay, so 20 to 19 and now the gold graphs dips back in favor of Boomer. Haven't seen that really dip convincingly in either party's favor. Very. Hype all, all done on here. Looks like they want to try and fight the bottom lane. They might even get the quick snipe here into the Earth Shaker. Oh, they missed the Burrow Strike. Back in. They're pinging it out. I think they want to go into Joker. The Ice Blast. Coin for me. Both sides just um, Queen of Pain needs to BKB as well. Necrofoe's BKB already completed. Not sure whether he's going to complete the Defiance. Thing is, the Earthshaker already has a hook. Just make yeah, sorry about that. My camera froze. Joe Cam, once again, waiting inside the trees, baiting for someone to come out. I don't know, this is like a resident sleeper game, but you can sort of feel the intensity. The stakes are really high. Both teams eager to qualify or at least make it against Mineski. Great experience. Gain more than you lose. Fine, they have the arcane rune. Let's see anything happen with this rune. We can't do the Roshan, but. Now they're going with the Brow Strike initiation. The 4 Staff Fall looks like they will find Tim's. And of course, to the Orchid Benevolent. And the 4 Staff Fall, he's dead anyways to the Orchid Burn. Over the top lane, they're gonna try and kill him off. The oh, the Reaper Side will not be enough to kill Sandy Lucas. And with the Deso, they will get some really good damage out onto the tier 3 tower. Actually, bringing it to very, very low. Birds and Sword. They wanna try and get the kill here onto Keskut, who's waiting inside the trees. Glimmer Cape. Do they have sentries? Now popping the Global Silence. They have enough damage fighting to the Wukong's command, not the smartest idea. Griffos does get a nice pretty big kill. That was the Reaper side being used, popping the BKB. Cuckoo kept alive by the urn, going for the stomp. They have enough damage, I think yes they do. Dreamer Cell wants to fight against Cuckoo. Oh no, he's too slow. Fighting under the shrine and the double ledge. They will get the kill. Full team wipe, TNC, triple kill for Raven. Necrophos, OS Frog, OS Frog. Just like that, full HP. 2400 gold swing, great stuff coming out from TNC. Right, so they do straight to the Roshan. And TNC, for the first time in the game, I would like to say they look like they have an advantage, but I'd be lying because the gold lead is still. Pretty much the same. Look at that. Went up, went down. Kind of in their favors. Never really crossing the 4,000 mark. Looks like they found a tasty target. That will be the darks here. You can, they can chain him down. Reaper Scythe. Want to bait it out. Reaper Scythe. Reaper Scythe. Oh, onto the cliff. Reaper. There we go. That's a kill. Plenty of regen available as well. Shiva's got on the way. That's going to be really big, especially against heroes like the Monkey King. It's going to give you vision at the side. And now immediately, 1437 getting out. Don't worry, guys. If you're facing the resident sleeper as well, bang your heads on the wall. It's not so much about a resident sleeper game, it's more about these two they're really playing this very very intense. Illusion. Pretty sure this card is like worth a few hundred dollars, right? 
Oh, hold on. They found the silencer. Tasty kill. Big kill. Easy kill. There we go. Kind of surprised the Necrophores didn't choose Etor, so you take this game. I won't even say no to an Ethereal Blade. I want to try and get some damage in, but over in the back. Looks like they found it in your dream. The Kofi proc into the Ice Blast as well. Yule steps up into the air. Should be the kill. The Fisher. Oh, actually, no. The Borch like he will shatter, anyways. Now they want to find Jokan popping the sentry and the dust. They found the Sand King. So it looks like in your dreams, shenanigans are cutting the creep wave. It's not going to really pay off. And it looks like they will find Jokan. Bang. The four heroes down. Looks like this should be able to force a couple of buybacks out. Melee barracks about to go down. And TNT have the advantage with the first lane of barracks already broken. He's going for more. He's going to try and force the buybacks. The Sand King and the Queen of Pain do have alts. They do have buyback. Global is up as well. They have all their spells. Fisher. Reaper Scythe, down goes Monkey! Oh, okay, nice back into the three-man vacuum. Popping the BKB Sonic Wave. Epicenter is gonna go kill off two for Joe Cam. Joe Cam making plays. Go Shroud, okay, nice Echo Slam. Onto the Queen of Pain. Can it kill the Queen of Pain? Yes, it's a dieback for on both the Monkey King and the Queen of Pain. And Cuckoo with the triple. Cuckoo with this gold straight ahead to clear off that tier three tower. Raven's not really too concerned we're gonna get some regen up from taking care of the creeps the cuckoo will take the tier 3 and with no buyback on in your dream and dream will sell this looks to be over the creep with all backdoor protection this is a very very slow siege Sandy Lucas cutting the creep wave so it means they can't even take the second lane of barracks very, very smart play, and TNC will back out. Still happy with what they, you know, what they got. Viper able to buy a full butterfly. And if you thought you, were, you know, Boom ID were actually lacking in physical DPS, they have never, ever felt more so right now. All right, so. Urban. But I think he just completed his Shiva's God. Yep, completed Shiva's God. They can go for the tier 2 tower, take up the bottom shrine. Increase the network advantage. It's a 13,000 advantage for the first time in the game after that fight. In your dream, getting caught like that. Very, very careless with the Sand King trying to save him. And of course, you know, when we're diving close to the tier 4s, so, eh, and that's when they put everything. So they use the scan, they know exactly where Boom ID are. Looks like they want to try for a Hail Mary play into the center. They put a ward out there, so in case. Tenor into the vacuum, popping the BKBs. Ukon's command, Brownless Strike is going to be there, but very, very quick. The Lotus Orb actually keeping the Centaur alive. The Rod of Atar is actually going to trap the Silencer, but Dream Set will get that Sam H kill. Now they want to keep on fighting. Cuckoo, BKB already procced out. Oh, they know where Tim's is. They're pinging him out. They just want to make sure that he doesn't get baited in, but Joe Cam will die anyways. Uh, Tim's, they know that he's he's hiding there in the Shadow Amulet. Caught by the curse of the Sunny Kesq, they're actually going to go down. And they know, do they need your dreams over there? Kind of suspect. Jeeva's God. Ooh, that was really, really close. Breaking the trees on Tim's. Back. Sonic Wave. Where's the follow-up? Boundless Strike. Do they have what it takes to kill him off? Apparently not in your dream, the Kofi proc. No, just kidding, but there comes the Reaper Siphon into the Ice Wall. Bang! Raven gets himself another kill. So plenty of charges. Cuckoo will get the Aegis Regeneration and the Tier 2 Tower. I don't know, I feel like this game is over for Boom ID. They were doing quite well against TNC. Yok and Tier 3 Tower is about to fall. So for sure this time, second melee barracks. Creep is here as well, so there's no way they will be protected by backdoor protection. There'll be one melee barracks, make it protected range racks as well. They can go straight for the megas. And they will have pretty much all their spells back up. We still haven't seen an Echo Slam, another Rod of Atos flying back and forth. Oh, nice Fisher, and down goes Keskew to the Cuckoo. The Cuckoo Viper, now they want to find the backline Dream Cell. They have the Viper Strike, finding him into that Wukong's command, they don't really care, they have no detection though. Down is double hoof stomp, it actually looks like In Your Dream, he's about to go down as well. Joe Cam already dead, and you set up into the air, In Your Dream is 
is dead. And full team wipe. The buybacks are all not available. Echo Slam onto his own creeps just because he can. And TNC will claim game one over Boom ID. Right, alright. So TNC will have to feel a 